Hello Pisces, welcome to Lotus Heart Tarot. I'm so excited to have you joining me. If you are new to my channel, welcome, welcome. I'm very happy to have you here. Um, these are general messages, so take what resonates and leave the rest. We are going to just take a look and ask Spirit, what does Pisces need to know about right now in love? What does Pisces need to know right now in love please show us spirit what pisces needs to know right now in love when they are watching this video what is it that they need to know okay pisces Okay, Pisces, I really, man, I feel two energies here today um, in your energy. I don't know if these are the same person or if this is two different people. Let me see if I can tell. Let me hear. Actually, ironically, I grabbed this deck and then I decided not to use it, but I have it right here. All right, what can you tell us about each one of these energies? I feel like you have two people who are afraid to um, really trust someone with their heart. Either it's one person or it's two people, but let's see. One of them is a fire sign. Okay. Okay, guys, okay, <laughs> I don't think this helps. Okay, it is like you have two people who are really focused on you, but it's like they don't want, either it's one person or it's two people. You take what resonates. But what I see here is that you have a couple of people that are very focused on you, for some of you, this could be another Pisces or an Aquarius or someone with strong Pisces, Aquarius, or fire in their chart. Um, for some of you that you just have a flat out fire sign. For, for others of you, I'm actually interpreting the fire as you, as like you may be someone who is becoming very high, highly desirable. Not that you always weren't or whatever, but there's something here where there's like you know, the, you're giving off some energy here, Pisces, that is really making people who normally are pretty reserved kind of take note or take interest here. Um, and I feel like you have people watching you who are kind of trying to decide if they can really trust you with their heart. There's concerns around like really allowing themselves to feel something. So for some of you, this, the confirmation may be that you were in a connection that was very, um, unbalanced effort, you know, like maybe you were putting a lot of work into it and the other person was not, um, maybe you told them, okay, we need to take a break. Or maybe they told you that they needed to take a break. Um, there was a situation here that because it grew imbalanced, there was separation needed. And in that time, it feels like Pisces, you've had some kind of glow up and the, the people that are watching you, um, there's an energy here of them being a little bit more reserved, a little bit more quiet, a little bit sort of just taking note, watching, kind of waiting. When you have the two signs of Pisces and Aquarius, both Pisces and Aquarius can sometimes get the reputation of being a little bit aloof or a little bit unreachable. And so I, I, it just, it feels like you're dealing with people who are not really coming forward, possibly who are not really saying a whole hell of a lot or aren't really offering you everything that they have to offer, even though they're really attracted to you and attracted to the situation with you. Because I feel like they are, it's almost like if I give my heart to Pisces, I will never see it again. You know, like I, I will fall so helplessly in love that I will, if it doesn't work out, I would be devastated kind of a thing. 
Um, it's definitely, I feel like a matter of fear that is keeping this person back with this vulnerability concerns issue. Um, there's a lot of attraction towards you right now, Pisces. I can just tell you because even as I was shuffling the cards and even as I was choosing the cards, I could feel a lot of attention coming your way. Um, and I feel like there could be someone that you cut the cord with or that you, you have kind of cut off access to who's it. Hmm. Let's see. Let's, let's dive in. We may just be focusing on one story or one situation right here today, um, but that doesn't mean that there aren't more situations around because I can definitely feel there's interest in you, Pisces, for sure. Okay, so some of you are dealing with a very strong soulmate. You have divine union on the bottom of the deck, and I feel like I feel like that's definitely on someone's mind. I feel Yeah. Pisces, you you've got somebody who With this off course card, I feel that this person feels that you are off their course. You know what I mean? That you would take them off course. That if they're going to go for it with you, they better be really damn sure that this is what they're doing because it's something that, you know, they may be on a certain path and if they're going to deviate off that path, then, then they're not really sure what, about everything or anything. You know what I mean? It's it's it seems like the stakes are sort of high for po possibly for this past person, um, but also there is this energy of like you may be dreaming about them or even waking up and feeling as though you have talked to them or that you are really in touch with how they're feeling or how they're doing. Um, with this fifth dimension card, it's sort of this unexplainable, it, it's a feeling that where it's like, I don't know how I would know that this person is suffering or struggling at this time, but like somehow I know how they're doing or how they're feeling. Um, or you can even like, if you have dreams that like, if you went to the airport or the train station, this happens to me a lot. A lot of times this is astral travel. Um, and I feel like this, you may even be picking up, it may even be some kind of like, you may even have like signs and synchronicities in your 3D world that are even pointing to like confirming this for you. If you feel this way, but feel like you may be a little bit crazy for feeling this way. Um, I understand. I feel you. Um, I think it's because this person is really contemplating um, there, this is a lot of heart chakra energy and excuse my fingernails, you guys, I'm going to fix them today. I've, I wasn't feeling well and it just like even doing my nails seemed like insurmountable. Um, but this person has been putting a lot of time and effort into thinking about whether or not to come forward or whether or not to like sort of jump off the path they're on and jump onto this with you. I feel like there's this energy that, you know, you always make them feel better. You always make them feel seen and heard and understood. I, this comes through a lot in your readings, Pisces. And, you know, having Piscean, uh, one, like probably my best friend in the world is Pisces. And my daughter's a Pisces. And I have a lot of Pisces in my life. And I know the way that you, they make you feel is wonderful. And so... I feel very strongly that this person is really heavily focused on that. The way that it's like you make them open up, you make them feel more hopeful about their future or about life in general or about even like what's possible. And I feel like this person has been spending a lot of time fantasizing about you, maybe dreaming about you, um, maybe daydreaming about you. It, I think it makes them feel better. It's a source of joy for them to think about this and what is on their mind is this energy of divine union underneath that you guys have respond and underneath that look at this um 
you know, I feel like this person really doesn't know how necessarily you, you will react. I also feel like this person really isn't sure about opening up or this energy around really allowing themselves to feel everything that they feel, you know, with this vulnerability concerns on the bottom of the deck. And I feel like this has been the problem from the beginning is that it's kind of like if this person really gives into this connection, then they're going to be more vulnerable than they're really comfortable being in the world. And that is what has been really holding them back. I, I feel like the separation between you right now has been very necessary because all that was happening before is that, you know, Pisces, you were willing to probably open up. You were willing to put your heart on the line and see where it went. And this person held back. So um, let's, let's get some more information here for Pisces, please, Spirit. What else can you tell us for Pisces, please? Pisces, your person feels held back. Oh my gosh. We just saw 1111. I literally said to you, maybe seeing signs and synchronicities. Then I pulled that card 1111 and then there's 222 right under there. We'll be texting you. I, I'm not sure that this person has freed themselves from whatever this prison is. You know, for some of you, they may be in another relationship or they may be... Um, Oh my God, this is a powerful connection. Uh, for some of you, they may be dealing with an addiction. For some of you, they may be a bit addicted to you. They may be, they may be someone that goes to your social media every day. Um, Or they may, like, just even the amount of time that they spend fantasizing or daydreaming about what's possible here between you may be something that they feel kind of alone with. They can't really share it with anybody else. It's like, you know, when you're in love, you kind of want to tell people, like, oh, man, I really, like, there's somebody in my life, da-da-da-da-da. And for whatever reason, even like, this person could be in a different relationship. This person could be, you know, really focusing on work or... Um, they may be in, there's, there's this energy with this gossip and let go of fear. There's this thing where I feel like there could be, um, a group of friends around this person where they may drink a lot, but this person is like, they don't want to let go of this group. Um, even though I think this group is part of the problem here for some of you. It's like they don't, they don't want to be that exposed. They don't, they, they like, you know, kind of feeling popular or like one of a bunch. But it's also like this person feels kind of overwhelmed. They feel a little bit like they're being sucked under, kind of like by having these feelings, by not being able to really share it. They may be even having some type of spiritual awakening where they're seeing a higher level perspective. I mean, it's one thing to give into these energies when you're when you don't really see it that way but once you start to see it that way that it's like oh this is really holding me back well this is really preventing me from exploring love or this is really preventing me from having a relationship that I'm clearly very interested in or attracted to you know it's like once you start to see these people as holding you back then you start to resent them you know it becomes impossible to stay who you are in that group feeling the way that you feel and so you, you know, it ha, you know, it's saying patience here because in time that will definitely work itself out. <coughs> this person will keep learning karmic uh, lessons from this group 
until they make a different decision. This person, though, there also may be some attachment to this group of friends and their finances. Like, it could be something to do with work. Or these could be, like, friends, but also important connections for their career. I'm getting, though, like, if they were to trust and just cut themselves off from that, like... It's like they would actually, what people don't understand when they think, well, I have this friend who has a lot of money and is very connected. What people don't understand about that is typically those friends actually don't want you to succeed. They want you to be jealous of them for what they have. I mean, I hate to say that, but that is just my experience. I grew up in a very wealthy environment and that is my experience. I will just say that they will they they're not they're not the gatekeeper for you they're not the one that's going to open the door for you they're the one that's going to keep it closed and keep you thinking that they will open it when they have the opportunity that is definitely an opinion so you know take it as it resonates um Yeah, I, I, I just, it's like this person has two worlds, the world they're living in and then the world that they want to live in, the fantasy that they have with you. And I don't know if, it, it feels like this is someone you were in a connection with. It was very lopsided. You may not even know that this person feels so strongly about you because they may not have expressed it because they are very closed off. They are, you know, very either emotionally unavailable or... Or they are trapped by circumstances where they feel like they can't pursue this because of their external situation. All right, let's dive into the tarot here, Pisces. Okay. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. Oh my gosh. Pisces. Okay. So you have the Emperor, the Nine of Coins, and Judgment with the Eight of Wands. This person is seriously understanding and realizing that they are going to have to take control. I feel like this is actually why I may have even just shared with you what I shared with you. I don't generally share my opinions about people. I do think that people are doing the best that they can, but I, I see a lot of times people with money kind of like act like or sort of give an impression that they, uh, you know, want to share the wealth or, you know, whatever. And honestly, they want you to be jealous of them or they want, they want to kind of use it as power in the situation to... I don't know, but what I see here is I see somebody who is, what ultimately we all have to decide as people is that we have the power within ourselves, that we actually don't really need anyone. We can actually do it on our, on our own. We actually, the way is within us. And that's what I see with this emperor energy is someone who may have felt like, well, the way is having all these connections or the way is, you know, maintaining all these friendships or prioritizing all these relationships. And, you know, having a relationship with Pisces would force me to give all that up or something like that. And with this emperor energy here, it feels like somebody who is like, hold on a minute. You know, I am capable of this. I do believe in myself. I am stepping up. I am empowering myself. I do see that, you know, I, I can be just as successful on my own, or I can make this happen. A lot of times with emperor energy, you know, you're dealing with an entrepreneur or somebody who is trying to do something on their own. And this, you know, you, they always say, yeah, you need contacts, like you need people to help you. Um, but also there's the recognition of, uh, you know, is this really helping me? Are these people really helping me? Am I, am I, 
you know, because a lot of times you will come into contact with people where it's mutually beneficial. And those are the type of relationships where movement really happens. And I see movement. So um, when you step up into your power and you say, you know what, I'm not waiting for this to happen, or I'm not waiting for this, this to break loose or for this person to open this door for me, I'm, I'm going to go out there and I'm going to make it happen in another way, or I'm going to pursue a different avenue, or I'm going to, this is someone who's like stepping up to take charge and they're trusting their own foundation. With the nine of coins, it's like this person actually sees you as someone who, you know, if, if, if the relationship is there, if the connection is there, you have proven on your own with your own ability here that you can be successful, that you can be abundant, that you, you know, you've made things happen for yourself and they've watched you. And it may have actually been the inspiration or the catalyst for them to really take control of their own life. And if they were to make something happen to where this could come back together again, then what would be the future of two people? This is pre-empress energy and this is emperor energy. You know, if, if given the time that you need to become the empress, then you don't need anybody to open a door for you if you're the empress and the emperor. The doors are all going to open. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, there's no door that doesn't open for you. With the eight of wands, this is movement towards success and victory, you know, without obstacle. And so it's like this person is starting to believe that, you know, all this stuff is sort of beneath this relationship and sort of beneath the situation. And that all you have to do is to have the power to believe in each other and the relationship and to rise above the circumstances. There's the, this has, this is, this is a good life path right here. This is good. Um, and that requires communication that requires us to get on the same page that requires us to, you know, really come together here. Let me, um, pull some more. Let me clarify these. Yeah. See this person wants this. This person views this situation with the Ace of Wands coming out sideways with the Knight of Cups and Temperance. This, this person views this as something that, you know, it's like the one that got away. It's like, um, it's that thing that they really, really desired that they never really got to go all in on or that they never really got to find the true potential on um, where it could go. And with temperance, this is something that, you know, it, this may, this relationship may have taken place over a great amount of time, um, you know, but it required a kind of a slow coming together. This can be even like your person may be a bit more your opposite than your same type situation where it's like when two opposites attract and they come together, the attraction can be very intense, but then it can feel like there's nothing else there and they, it can cause it to break apart or there's not enough there to sustain it. It's like we start to realize that we have a lot less in common and then we break apart. But when that connection is still so strong, it keeps pulling us back together. We have to continue to look at why that is. And with temperance, it's saying, you know, the safe way to do this is a little bit at a time is, you know, to find the common ground in everything. You know, you may stand over here and I may stand over here, but we may be able to meet in the middle on almost every single thing. We may find that there is common ground there, even though it's not the most apparent part of the equation. It's making this person, this energy of thinking about how even in time, there's still a desire to come together. There's still a desire to get to know. There's still a curiosity. You know, people who are in emperor mode tend to get bored kind of easily. I mean, Aries energy, it's, you know, Mars energy. This is action energy. It's like we can move through things very quickly kind of energy. And when some, when something has staying power, when something keeps turning your head to it, um, you, you take note. You're like, wow, I still want this. I'm still curious about this. I'm still attracted to this. I still desire this. I still view this in this way. Um, and with the seven of swords, it's like, you know, you, you even then kind of look back and realize how misaligned you were, even you with you. That's what relationships do. They, they show us ourselves. 
And it's like, man, you know, what I was saying and how I was acting, what I was, it really wasn't in alignment with how I really felt about the opportunity. It was, had more to do with maybe things outside the situation than actually what was happening within me. Wow. So Pisces, you may have had some success. Holy moly. You may have had some real success. Oh man. You want to talk about a glow up? Six of wands, 10 of pentacles, the chariot. This person has a lot of regret. It's like they failed to see your true potential when they were with you. It's like, it's like they may have felt such a strong attraction that they discounted every other part of you. Like, you know, the attraction was so strong that even though there were signs that there was a lot more there to it, they may have just discounted it and told themselves, this is just a physical attraction. It'll go away or it will go away in time. But, you know, it feels like every move you have made, you may have traveled, you may have moved, you may have you may have done some things that have been impressive or they may be following your story on Instagram or, or Facebook or whatever and kind of watching you and maybe even fantasizing or daydreaming being there. But it's like everything that you have done since this person cut the cord with you, they, they has made them regret it, has made them regret cutting the cord. It's like, you just keep coming out on top. You just keep looking more and more stable and solid. And you just keep with the chariot. Now the 10 of pentacles, this eight of wands, the nine of pentacles to the 10 of pentacles. This person is seeing all the potential. They're actually seeing you in a different light. I think they are still incredibly attracted to you with the nine of pentacles. There's a huge attraction there, but they're also seeing you know, how there could be success, there could be victory, you could be the partner the, of their power couple, you know what I mean? You could be the one that they actually can go the distance with, that they can share a vision with, and that can match them stride for stride. I don't think they're meeting people like you in their normal life. And, you know, I think it's starting, you know, this person's like, well, they've already got nine pentacles, you know, once we get together, then we're going to have 10 pentacles, you know? This person, I feel like they want to tell you how they feel or how their feelings have changed or kind of even possibly gotten more intense. They want to tell you something sincere. I think they admire you and they're ready to recognize that you are successful in your own right or that you are, there's something about you in your own right that they admire and respect and see as very um, favorable or very... Um, kind of inspiring possibly or wow wow whoa 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 all right, Pisces, your judgment is being clarified by, look at this, the Ten of Swords, the Ace of Swords, the Three of Swords, the Five of Swords, the Eight of Cups, Justice, and the Magician. Can you see all that? This is getting very messy. Um, I just like to let all the cards that want to come out come out so we get a full picture. The thing is with this judgment card, this is talking about rising above, rising above all the suffering, rising above a difficult ending, rising above the manipulation, possibly the manipulation and gossip of others or external circumstances that may have been a real detriment or a real factor in where this connection was able to go or not go. It may have really destroyed this connection. It's like, let's bring it to light. Let's have clarity on it. Let's walk away from all of the things that have you know created all of these swords like for crying out loud this is a lot of swords energy and you know it does feel like thoughts but it also feels like words it also feels like there were too many people involved in this connection i just keep getting that either there was a third party situation or there was a friend group or there was both 
Um, oh, and a third party situation doesn't have to be just another person. It can be a job. It can be a family. It can be a family member. It can be a friend. It can be, you know, it can be anything that this person is prioritizing over this connection. But it feels like the, the, the situation was not favorable. The time was not favorable. The circumstances that this relationship came into being in was not favorable. And I feel like that's what really brought about this difficult ending. I feel like there's been a lot of time to think about this or to see it in a different way or to kind of get perspective on all these situations to where it's possible they don't matter as much or it's possible that now what once seemed like a huge monumentous thing now seems much smaller. Um, with the Eight of Cups, there is this kind of like, do you want to walk away from these subpar lives we've been living on our own and come together, you know, and into this like wish fulfillment energy of the nine of cups. Um, you have this hangman energy and it's just like this time, this separation that was needed. Remember this card said separation needed. Um, it's like it, it has given way to seeing it in a different light, seeing everything in a different light, you know, um, oftentimes, what in the moment feels so big, you know, as time passes, it's like that actually is nothing compared to what I have with Pisces. Like, why am I letting this be the thing that determines whether or not this comes together or this works out? You know, it's just, it's like you can recognize your own where you allowed your mental body to like get you off course or take you away from what your heart was telling you, you know? Um, and with the hangman, it's like, you know, getting a different perspective. You realize that these people were in it for themselves or these people were, you know, you thought they were helping you, you know, see the light about someone, but it's like, they may have had their own ulterior motives here. They may have been manipulating you for their own gain. Um, with the five of swords, you know, and the 10 of swords. I mean, these are, these are two cards you don't want to see come out because that is a very difficult ending, especially with the three of swords. I mean, you can't have the 10 of swords without suffering, but I mean, to see the three of swords, the 10 of swords and the five of swords, this is like, there's been a lot of pain created by outside interference or outside situations. And with the hangman, it's like, we're really able to see it. We're really able to acknowledge it. We're, we're able to see it for what it was. And maybe we've already walked away from it, you know, and that is helping us get the perspective or maybe the perspective is helping us to walk away from it. Either way, I mean, it changes your timeline a little bit, but either way, we're walking away from these things that have been very painful and have not served the connection so that, you know, we can come together. Judgment, Four of Wands... Um, we can end this separation. We can rise above the situation. We can come together and we can have success and victory. Um, I'm actually going to clarify this eight of wands because we don't have enough of a mess here. We have the magician and the justice here, but I want to clarify the eight of wands first. I feel like this person, this is what's making this person, um, you know, empower themselves with the magician energy and the emperor energy and make the difficult decision that they weren't willing to make in the past. Um, I feel though with the magician and justice, this person is still weighing things out. I think they're trying to get more information. That's why we saw that stalker card. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Some of you really are dealing with a fire sign here, either an Aries or a Leo. You also have Gemini and Libra. A lot of Pisces energy, Cancer energy. Um, with the Emperor, the Strength card, and the Seven of Swords clarifying the Knight of Wands, I actually am getting that it's possible this person with the seven of swords, I got to clarify it, but sometimes I see this kind of deal where it's like people don't want you to know how bad they actually want you. So they pretend to like, they wait three days to respond to a text message or something. It's giving me that vibe. What the hell, dude? I cannot stand this energy. 
Honestly, it, I really am like, what is the point? I Gen Z especially, man. Oh my gosh. Like I listen to my daughter's friends talk and oh Lord. It's like I gotta act like I'm not interested in you, but that I'm just like talking to you. No, I tell them, don't act like that. Don't give in to that. That's ridiculous. And they're like, y okay. <laughs> um, but anyway, you got the seven of swords here. And th like I said, this is one of those things where it's like a lot of times people want to act like, okay, well, this is not that big a deal to me. Well, with the emperor and the strength card behind that seven of swords, you know, it is, it is a big deal. And this person is trying to take control. And this person is feeling a very strong bond and a strong connection and does have a strong plan with this. They just don't know how the hell you feel. And this is something common with Pisces, especially you guys are so mysterious and elusive. Like Pisces understand all the other signs because you're the 12th house, but they don't understand you. And, and so, you know, they, it, it makes you kind of elusive and it makes you kind of mysterious. And so they don't know what you're thinking or how you're really feeling. Even a lot of times I'll have Pisces tell me, well, I mean, I flat out told them, but it's like, it still always comes out in the cars that they really like, they don't know. They don't know. And that can either be because they've been so messed up by their prior communication and their prior relationships that they don't know whether they can trust someone's word or this can be where it's like you think you're being clear with them, but like it's not clear to them. Um, but here's what I have. I have this seven of swords being clarified by the six of pentacles in reverse, the six of wands, the temperance card and the page of swords with the four of cups on the bottom of the deck. This per It's like this person is trying to act kind of disinterested and this is so annoying the how you know that this person really wants to come together is because you probably know that they're stalking you or that they're spying on you or it may even come out in conversation where they're like oh yeah that dress you wore to that wedding back there and you're like wait how did you know i wore that dress to that wedding and they're like oh you know what i mean or you don't say anything at all but you're like oh so you've been stalking me on instagram it always comes out um this person it's like they either they want to take control or they want to be in control of the conversation or the way that it goes. So they may be going slow with communication or they may not be revealing too much. This, whatever they're presenting as far as communication goes, there's some deception in it as to like how, how, um, like they may be waiting by the phone for your response, but they may be taking three days to respond to you. Do you feel what I'm saying? There's an imbalance here. Um, and, but this person is trying to come into harmony with you with these two sixes. This person is trying to figure out where you're at, how you feel about them, what you think about them. There's something here where they may be reaching out to you, but kind of not in a big way, but there is more, way more behind it than it seems. Um, and the way that you know is that this person has invested a lot of their personal time in spying on you or stalking you or asking people about you. You, you, I feel like you're going to hear about this or you're going to know it, or you're going to even see that there's some kind of misalignment here between the communication and how much effort this person has even maybe put into getting in touch with you again, or, um, or just how much time, how much, how much time has passed where they've been seriously watching you this whole time, thinking about coming together with you. We keep getting this temperance energy and this page of swords. And it I, like, for me, I feel like for a lot of you, you know, like this could be someone that you broke up with two years ago that like occasionally will pop up out of the blue or watches all your stories or likes all your posts, but then doesn't really do anything about it. And, you know, and then they're reaching out to you and then they're kind of like not then very much communicating with you, but they, there's, there's, a, this is not you, there's something that logically does not match up about this. And I think it is that this person does not, they want to appear much less interested than they actually are. It's like they, they don't want to appear desperate and get rejected. Um, or they want this to come together slowly. They may feel also a very strong physical attraction to you. And if it happens to where it gets together physically quickly, um, they, then they feel like it will go down the same way it went down before possibly. 
um, to where it, it burns out. So there's something here about taking time to let this come together little by little is part of this person's strategy or plan, okay? With the temperance here and the six of wands, it's like they don't want to lose your attention and they don't want you to not think about them or forget about them or not be interested in them. Um, but it's like they also want things to move slowly or so that they don't lose control in some way. And, you know, I do think this person is very, very physically attracted to you. So that could be something that they're, that is part of the equation here. But also with that high priestess on the bottom of the deck, when you guys go in full high priestess mode, people really do not know what you're thinking or how you're feeling. And it works to your benefit. And sometimes it works to your detriment because it can make people who are typically, who are generally nervous, even more nervous. Um, you know what I mean? All right. So let me get you some message cards here, Pisces. There's definitely communication coming in, I would say. I, I would say this person is making a decision to step into their power with the emperor now coming out twice, the magician coming out here, and the justice card on this eight of wands. It's like um, this person is making the decision. Whenever you see the magician and the seven of swords, there's deception involved, period. I feel after I clarified the seven of swords and the, this energy, it is that this person does not want to come on too strong or does not want to show too much of their hand. They want to know how you feel. They want it to be a little bit and a little bit and a little bit like you share, they share, you share, they share, you know, a back and forth kind of energy. It's like they want to establish some foundation or some base before before they're they're concerned about about their heart here they really are they feel like if they come forward and this gets going there's no turning it back like they will give in with reckless abandon and that would make them very vulnerable and they're not really feeling that nobody really wants to feel that way right like i would then be dependent on this relationship to make me happy um, and that's not healthy. It's toxic. So maybe their plan isn't too bad, but as long as it's moving, you know, as long as you're okay with it and as long as you're having communication about that. Okay. <laughs> Whatever you need. All right, Pisces, it's all about you. It, we're, if you're dealing with a water sign, you're getting soon. We will be together again. I want to protect our love, even though we are apart. Only true love burns as deep as ours. Yeah, I want to protect our love, even though we're apart from these gossips, from these people around me. Um, it's like I, they probably don't talk about you. They probably act like they're over you because opening it up for discussion with these people is not going to be helpful. Um, but it's like this person knows that they still feel this way after all this time, then it must be real. If you're dealing with a fire sign, you're getting memories of you sneak up on me. I surrender to our love. If it's meant to be, I can't fight it. Feel the cosmic energy shifting between us. Yes, this is someone who, you know, they're afraid they're going to lose control. I feel like um, that they're just that once they give into the passion, it's done for them. Like there, there's nobody else. They've been around enough to know that there isn't anyone else that they have on this same place with you Pisces and so if they go for this and then something happens and it falls apart they're stuck in that mode if you're dealing with an earth sign my wandering soul returns home to your love the betrayal needs healing before reunion after the loss of our love we will come back stronger seems like there's a bit of uncomfortable history here with an earth sign um seems like this person though does kind of want to heal it um if you're dealing with an air sign, you hold the key to unlocking my love. I'm still healing from the pain. Reunion of our hearts where we belong. All right, Pisces. Man, oh man. This is what I got for you today. I'm on the mend and i um, feeling stronger and better every day. So um, thank you all so much for your well wishes. They really were so sweet and I was so touched by it and I really do deeply appreciate it. I could only look at a computer screen for a limited amount of time, so... Um, I haven't been able to thank you all or respond to every comment, but I do appreciate it. And I will, I always do try to like sneak into videos and give you guys a lot of response when I can, um, or when I just am feeling really guided to. So, you know, 
comment, comment, comment. I really do appreciate it. If this reading resonated with you, please let me know, like, share, subscribe, comment. I really do appreciate all your support on my channel. You guys are the absolute best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Until next time, Pisces, I send you off with all my very best. Always, always, always. Bye-bye.